guys you're welcome back hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bike Kran thank you so much for clicking so it is actually storms out after refusing to have an argument so let's check it out uh, okay I feel like this talks kind of gonna have engendered a lot of confusion because there's a lot of things I noticed and forgive me I spoke out earlier um, that's all right there's a lot of things that you did in this talk, in this presentation, you kind of gish galloped over a bunch of things, and there's a lot of logical fallacies. I don't want to address all of them, I can't. I know you've got a limited amount of time. The biggest problem I noticed is you mentioned a few times, and kind of disparagingly, this idea of an atheistic worldview, mm -hmm. and then you attack that. Mm -hmm. That's a great straw man, because atheism is not a worldview. Okay. And I know that you've been made aware of this because you've had debates with other people to this effect. Exactly. So I would. Uh, what okay, I would what do you mean by worldview? That well, that's what I would like to ask you. Atheism is just the rejection of the claim of theism, which tells you nothing about how that person thinks about social rules, who they want to vote for, whether they like cake more than they like pie. It's not a worldview. Atheism is simply saying God is not guilty of existing. It's not the same thing as saying God does not exist. Now, there are atheists who do oh. that. They'd be called strong atheists or what we call Gnostic atheists. But atheism is just a rejection oh. of the claim of God existing. Okay, let me ask you a question about this, Scott. Wow. Here's the proposition. God exists. And God is my gift. Do you agree with that proposition? Oh, Do you no, disagree with that proposition? Or you don't know? I don't know. Okay, so you're an agnostic then. Well, agnosticism addresses knowledge, mm -hmm. right? So you don't know. Theism addresses a belief claim. So there, I would be agnostic atheist. I do not know that God does or does not exist, but I do not believe that he does. Okay, well, you still believe that you don't know whether God exists, so it's still a belief. Exactly. It's a lack of belief. No, you believe, believe is in the lack of that it's belief. true that you don't know that God and exists. Is. And your point is? Okay, well, my point is, is that atheists today are trying to say, I have a lack of belief in God. For me, that's just saying something about your psychological state. It doesn't say anything about the real world out there. It doesn't say whether or not God exists. You're simply saying, I lack a belief in God. True. Well, this water bottle lacks a belief in God. But the we water don't bottle it... doesn't have the capacity to believe. Right, I know. What you I'm... addressed this with Cosmic Skeptic, like in 2017. When yeah, you're yeah. On the, that, and okay, but the audience doesn't know that. this, so just give me a chance to answer. You guys should answer. check that okay. out. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, if, if, we, if we define atheism as a lack of belief in God or whatever, sure. then we're not really saying anything because everything that doesn't have the capacity to believe anything could be called an atheist then. And a water bottle could also be called a vegan if you say it's something that doesn't eat animal parts. As far as that label is being applied, it's ineffective in that case. I would say atheism is related only to those things that have the capacity to believe in the first okay. place. Okay, we can argue over definitions all day long. When right. I'm debating an atheist, whether it's Christopher Hitchens, Michael Shermer, Jeffrey Lauder, whoever it is. Sure. When, when we set up a debate, I say, let's debate this. What better explains reality, theism or atheism? Or if you want to call atheism materialism, whatever you want to call it. But the point is, theism is not Let trying to explain reality. Yes, we are. No, that's not what it is doing. And I'm telling you, as an atheist, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is, you are coming to me and you're saying, hey... God explains X, Y, and Z, and I'm saying, well, how do you know that, and why do you know that, and convince me of that. Okay, mm. let, let me finish my point, Scott. Okay? Sure. When, when two people come to debate mm -hmm. on this issue, I'm going to say, when I look at reality around me, when I look at the creation of the universe, or the fact that the universe exists, the fine-tuning, mm -hmm. the mo objective moral values, when I look at uh, what appears to be design in life, and where life came from, when I look at consciousness and free will and the laws of logic and our ability to reason. I think anybody coming to, onto a debate stage has to give causes for why those things exist. No, let, they only me, have to show that your arguments aren't correct or No, 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 no. What, when you frame the debate the way we frame it, what better explains reality? And reality includes all those things I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then I, th I, I have the burden of proof to say I think these things are best explained by theism. And the atheist has the burden of proof to say, okay, I see those things exist. Here's my explanation for why they exist. Well, then I, I don't believe any atheist that I've ever seen debate with you has ever accepted a debate under that kind of framework. The framework is never that Scott, atheism they, they, is a better explanation. It's that your theism is not a sufficient 
well, explanation. Well, you'll have to talk to them, Scott, because they agreed every time. Christopher Hitchens. You guys should check out the videos Michael, on YouTube. Yes, that's Michael not Shermer. Michael Shermer. No, oh, okay. Just, just, huh? just so you know. He just left. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. What, 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 what did you say, Scott? I was lying? Yes. He said you were lying. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to, if you give me your email address, I will send you a video of all those debates, and you can watch. I've seen plenty of them. I watched them while I was waiting to see this talk. Okay, well, th those were the titles of the debates. Um, and the reason we do that, ladies and gentlemen, is because if the, let me put it this way, it's easy to smell a rotten egg, it's hard to lay a better one. Okay? So if someone has a position over there that I think is wrong, I can throw eggs at it, and I can try and diffuse and say that's a bad argument, that's a bad argument. But I then still have the burden of proof to say, well, what is my explanation for the way things are the way they are? Let me give you one last illustration, because this is an important point that Scott brought up. If uh, I'm a detective and atheist Michael Shermer is a detective and we come on a dead body mm. and I say, okay, I'm looking at all the evidence here, I think candidate X did it. And Michael Shermer says, no, candidate X did it. Or didn't do it. That's, that's the wrong, that's the, that's, he's not the murderer. And I say, okay, who is the murderer then? And he says, well, I just lack a belief that your guy's the murderer. Is he a good detective? No. Shooting down my suspect isn't enough. If he's a good detective, he has to give reasons as to why candidate Y is the murderer. Not just to say that your guy is the wrong guy. That's all I'm saying, Scott. I want to understand something. The guy made a point, said, being an atheist doesn't mean they don't totally believe in God, but they have lack of belief. Then what is the meaning of lack of belief? Lack of belief and you not believing is not the same thing. Or am I getting something wrong here? Because if you say you don't believe in something and you say it's lack of belief, that means you don't believe it at all. This man was trying to give an example and letting him understand that it's either you believe or you don't believe. But he kept on, you know, trying to prove himself and trying to say that the, I, I wish, you know, Frank. To use human being as example, even though you used a dead body as example at the end of the video, just use human being as example that, okay, how were you created? Do you believe that God created you? And if you say, well, I think so, um, then how do you come into being? Your mother did not create you, your father did not create you. They just had to do their own part to bring you, but it was true God, it happened. So that's the biggest example you should have used as a point. That's what he should have used as his point. So that the guy will believe that truly, truly there is God. Or they say lack of blood. They are not saying that you are, there's no single drop of blood in your body. No, it's not possible for you not to have a single drop of blood in your body. But it's just that you have little blood. So that little belief you have, that is to say you believe in God. Then that means... They are not an atheist because me, I believe that the definition of an atheist is someone that does not believe in God at all. But you saying that lack of belief, that's, that's the meaning of it. Then that, that means you believe in him. I don't know if I'm making sense, guys. If you understand what, where I'm coming from, you know, if the argument was not <laughs> going according to how he wanted it to go. And he just stomped out of the mic and left. He left angrily and, you know, he was talking uh, off, off camera and I couldn't really hear what he was saying. And, in, and the man later made an, an example with, you know, an investigation. It's just like you making an investigation and you say, oh, this is the person that did this thing. And you know, I say, oh, I think this is the person. But you're saying the proof. And you're still saying, I think. And you're saying you think. That means you still believe. I have a little belief that, yes, it might be the person, right? Yes. So being an eighties means wow. Oh, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.